<laughs> hey guys, we are here for Universal Studios Hollywood Horror Nights. Um, it is currently 3.03, .03, so we have two and a half more hours before they'll let us in. Um, tip that we want to advise, so it is hot out here, like it is hot. Um, they will let you go through the security gate with food and drinks before 4 o'clock. So if it's hot like today, um, I highly suggest getting here early even if you do have to wait around just so you can bring your water with you because they said after 4 they're not going to let you do that. Um, but for now we're just going to wait around, enjoy these misters on these palm trees and then wait to line up. Let me show you the line situation. So here at the front gate, if you look to the right hand side, let me zoom in for you. Over here they're doing the day night combo ticket and then for us we're doing the early access at 5.30. It is currently closed off, but it'll be this entire section over here. And the entrance is going to be over here by the red umbrellas. But for now, they said they're not queuing up for anything. So we're just waiting here. And yeah. So while we're here, I just think we should inform everybody what the difference is between the day-night pass and a frequent fear pass and the early access. So frequent fear, is kind of like, I don't want to call it a season pass, but it's for the Halloween season. It's a pass to get into Horror Nights all season. I know there's a few uh, blackout dates, but um, there's an upgrade to a pass that you can do. I believe it's 239, or it was 239, because um, they just lowered the prices on the Frequent Fear Pass. I think they're, the regular Frequent Fear is 179 right now, um, as of this recording. And that other upgraded pass has, you can go every day during the whole haunt season. Um, the early access is, I believe it's an hour and a half event, actual event for everybody starts at seven. This $10 early entry, which is pretty good if you ask me, an hour and 30 minutes uh, early into the park for $10. I mean, I think that's a pretty good deal. I don't know about you. But the $10 is for today specifically as it gets into October and towards the end of the month and then weekends. It can range, I think, up to $25 for early access. To be honest, I know I know that's kind of like whatever, but uh, $25 is still not that bad. At least in, in my opinion. I don't think it's that bad. But I know that for some people, they're already like, well, the ticket is this much, the price is this much, and you want me to pay an extra $25 on top of that? No way. Uh, but for us, I think it's a little more convenient, especially for night one. Uh, we want to try and get to those lower lot houses as quick as possible. And I think an hour and 30 minutes is a pretty good head start because it's literally going to take us 15 minutes to even get over to where the houses are at. So, um, and that's another reason why if you want to come only once, maybe instead of doing the early access, you invest in the day-night combo because I believe it's three o'clock or 2 30 that they let you into the park so you can enjoy like regular universal studios and then um you can stay in there for horror nights so um that also gives you the advantage because you can already head straight down there to the lower lot and wait for the lines to start forming yeah i also think the express um it's really expensive like that doesn't seem like that good of a deal to me because there's two express passes there's the express that gets you into each house in a fast pass but only once and then there's the express unlimited where you can use the fast pass into the houses as much as you want but those are those are really expensive so if you're thinking of coming to horror nights especially in october when the hot season is in full effect um i honestly it's a lot but your experience will be a lot better it, i don't know i like the pass because we don't have to rush to do everything even though we want to we're gonna have days where we come back and so yeah for now, we wait.
Chinese maze was insidious. I thought it was really good. Um, we did have technical difficulties in the beginning, so they didn't let us in, but I think it's very good because it's very dark and they do have a lot of like jump scares. So we really don't know where people are coming out of, but I thought it was fun. <laughs> that room at the end, I'm not gonna spoil it, but the, you'll see in the POV, that room at the end was the worst. I don't, I like the maze. I don't think it's the, Hold it. I don't think it's the scariest maze, but the most stress inducing, yes. Now we're gonna go into Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Texas Chainsaw, it's Dead Exposure, and Eternal Bloodlines. We're going to the weekend right now? We're going to the weekend right now. Chainsaw Massacre. So let's go. And who's hit? Is it in the road by the trucks passing through? Like I see it. My Alrighty, verdict for Texas Chainsaw. Um, it was cool, like Cody said, graphically, like prop-wise, but it seemed like there were a lot of the actors missing, so that's one that we're gonna have to give another chance. Yeah, visually and and scenery-wise, it's very good. That's like my favorite horror movie ever, so I'm not disappointed, but I think with more visual effects, it'll be better. Now we have to choose between Dead Exposure and I know the Monsters one, Eternal Bloodlines. What is so iconic about where they have um, 
this Universal Monsters maze is there's been a lot of Universal Monster movies shot in here, like Dracula, like Frankenstein. Right, Frankenstein. Uh, Jurassic Park and Scarface. Mm -hmm. Those are Universal Monsters, but those are some <laughs> of the movies that are included in that list. Yeah, so it's pretty exciting to be a part of history. So let's go on inside. Do you think this soundstage is haunted? No, I've been inside before. What? For the voice. You went on the voice? I, I didn't go on the voice. I was with my cousin. Your cousin went on the voice? No, we watched it. We were part of the live audience. Oh, did you have to hit the little button like American Idol? No, we just sat in the sun too. Oh. And then and then we went inside. Oh, nice. I think it's fun. These bloodline just as evil corpses to the house of Dracula. Other than hell's so humid outside right now, I don't think this is gonna help at all. But it's gonna be fun. I haven't been on this ride since... A minute, like since last year, I think. Last year? So they have like Black Phone, The Purge, Megan. So we're excited. After that exposure, I need something better. We're gonna get married. Watch your step when I see you in the tram. Bye bye. <laughs> Chucky, he scared everything out of me. So 
so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. If it's just a little puppet on the little screen, or not screen, in the little area where the screen would be, I'll be okay. But if he's walking through like the stands, no thank you. Here we go. It feels so nice in here. My gosh. What's your favorite? I know I just looked at the weather. It said it was 95. I wouldn't feel bad for you guys if I was allowed to smell fresh air. You will be able to send your questions directly to Chucky. Well, to Chucky's team. What are you going to ask him? He, uh, we do read these live. We do read these live. Diane, is that tech or is that Chucky being Chucky? Thank you. Chucky! Your height is 29 inches. Yes.
energy like that. To your right. Or are you barely making the last perch show? You know, I think it might be a controversial take, but I actually like this. This has been described as an indispensable. not good it was I mean from what you guys saw I'll include clips for all the mazes but um, from what you saw it was lackluster after that we did what did we do uh, oh, we went to go we to, went the, to the, tram, tram. the tram the tram was good for parts of it like the Megan part was really cool but beyond that it was like eh. and it was like really short um, after the tram we went to go do Chucky which is like a talk show. It was like a 15 minute talk show. It wasn't that great at all. It was just a nice place to like get some AC and sit down. But but yeah, after that, we went to a quiet place. That was, I am I was pleasantly surprised by a quiet place. It was really, really, the house I wouldn't say was good, but all the effects like just blew my mind. The animatronics were really cool so, in there. So cool. The theming was so great. I was honestly really surprised because I don't really like the movie. Yeah. But the maze, it was quiet for certain parts. And then um, all the animatronics, it was cool. And then after that, we did Monstros, Monstros 2. Um, I think there were elements of it that were really good, but then there were also some that kind of fell flat. Um, and you'll, you'll see it's a lot of the same repetitive things. But overall, I think we had a fun time. We finished the night with The Purge dangerous waters and now it is time to go home i'm so tired it's gonna be a long drive home yes but thank you guys so much for watching remember to like comment and subscribe share us with your friends and your family the halloween season starts now so expect more halloween stuff from us in the future we love you and appreciate you thank you for watching and we'll see you next time okay so one last thing we wanted to mention um was the very beginning was rough like extremely rough so we bought the um early access early access for today it was only ten dollars which means we were able to enter at 5 30 like we told you guys earlier we got here really early 
because we wanted to beat the traffic so we kind of like were killing time and then around 2 30 ish we were in that main store in city walk we were like looking over and we're like oh okay it looks like people are starting to kind of you know accumulate in the area let's go through so we went through security um, we were waiting under a palm tree because we overheard them say like oh we don't want anybody lining up for early access yet so all of us were kind of like hanging out by palm trees by the misters then they said i think it was around four that they were it was like 3 30 ish because then they were like oh at four we're gonna let you guys scan your early access pass so okay we scan and mind you it was 106 degrees today and there's no shade on that far left hand side so we scan in and they're like okay you guys can wait at the next gate where you guys normally walk through and we'll let you guys in at five there were no umbrellas there were no giant fans with misters and it was like really disheartening to see the cast members on the other side that were in the shade and they kept bringing them little water bottles in an ice chest full of ice it was, it was kind of crazy to watch them like ring around the rosy with the water the the water and the ice chest and all that and we're on the other side of the gates like animals yes i am pretty sure the whole entire back part of my body is burned yeah. same thing with cody and we felt like we were gonna pass out multiple times and mind you we had waters with us initially as we were waiting in line and we made sure to hydrate before we got here but it was it was so brutal and i i don't know it almost ruined the entire day for us um as i feel like as we were walking into the park um it was just like i i didn't feel like myself i felt severely dehydrated i already have a bit of a headache now from the long like long day in the heat but man i i thought somebody was gonna pass out out there it was ridiculous it, it was really bad i think yes is it their responsibility? No. But should they have at least had like umbrellas out there? Yes. Because they were like teasing us on the other side with their umbrellas. They were in the shade. They had waters and stuff. Like I get it, but I don't I don't think that's cool. It was it was it was horrible. It was really really bad. And just standing there and being like, "Oh, they're going to let us in at 5." And it's 4:15 and I'm like, "Okay." Just let us in. Just let us in, please. I didn't want to go to anything. I just want to sit down in the shade. That, that sun was brutal. And then the rest of the night, it was humid. It was muggy. It was gross. But that that one hour from 4 to 5, and then from 5 to like 5.30, was just the worst. Yeah, it because worst. once they scanned us in at 5, then they stopped us. Um, right before or right after that little um, restaurant that's on the right hand side I think it's called Hollywood and Dine yeah. and they're like okay you guys can wait here uh, we'll let you guys in again and I think it was like 30 minutes later and we're like dude come on so it was it was really bad in the beginning of course me and Cody you know always try to make the best out of a situation we understand like he said it's not their responsibility but still if you don't want people passing out throwing up all over because of heat exhaustion like Come on now. Yeah. Just put I, out the umbrellas or put out those big fans with misters. Because they had the Mr. Fans. The Mr. Fans. The Mr. Fans. <laughs> they had the fans, the big fans with the misters um, in the line for Eternal Bloodlines. Mm -hmm. And then also at the weekend, I want to say. No. No, they had some also um, going into the Simpsons land. That's what it was. And. I feel like the under the shade because the Eternal Bloodlines goes their line starts where Jurassic World's extended queue is at, but that was covered and the sun was already setting mm -hmm. by the time we were there. So I feel like those misters that we got early access, but those houses weren't open for us. Um, when this after the sun sets, you wouldn't need those mister fans in there. So just put those in the line. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it. it it did suck. It was bad. It was really bad. Like, I felt like I couldn't, um, I couldn't, like, wrap my head around why we were still there. I get kind of entitlement or, like, oh, uh, we paid to get early access, but, like, 106 degrees can't have people just standing out there in the sun. Yeah, so if uh, we get a survey asking how our experience was, you best believe. That is going to go on there. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it was fun. I think this was a really, really good year for Horror Nights. I think they executed everything well. Um, 
it it's rough some of the mazes were a little rough and they were missing a lot of their set elements they were missing a lot of actors um but i think that's just it's housekeeping stuff once the season starts to really kick off it's it's gonna be great mm -hmm. so, yeah i agree i think right now for my list my top has to be insidious insidious was amazing to me because like cody said he was like anxious the whole time because you don't know where they're coming out of and the scares are actually good because it's so dark in there you can't really see where they're coming out of yeah um my second has to be hmm maybe the weekend i really because i love the weekend um the weekend was really good to me and then i think a quiet place is my number three because even though I don't really like the movie, the animatronics were so cool and the puppets, like they were quality. And then that was three, four, probably surprisingly Ghostbusters because we watched that movie recently and it wasn't too bad, but it was just really cute to see tiny animatronic uh, Mr. S the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. So I was like, oh, that's really cute. Yeah. Um, after that, oh, I missed Texas Chainsaw. So Texas Chainsaw and then then Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters, Texas Chainsaw, always a fan favorite. Loved it. It was super smelly in there, but I'm not one to complain about that. I get they're trying to set the mood of the slaughterhouse. It is what it is. Um, after that, you got Eternal Bloodlines, Monstros. Monstro. And dead. Uh, we already know where Dead Exposure is. Yeah, Dead Exposure is all the way at the bottom. Dead last. And I don't think I'll ever do it again because it was that awful. Yeah, it was. It was like a non-spray farmies, but anyways, yeah. So then I'll probably go. Uh, <laughs> I'll probably go monstros, and then um, eternal bloodlines, just because, like Cody said, he liked the the storytelling elements to it. But I don't know. I think I have to go through it again to see where it ranks. But what are yours? Okay, so my favorite maze. I I was doing a lot of like analysis in my head when we were waiting for. Um, or not waiting when we were walking to the purge. And I was so pleasantly surprised by A Quiet Place that I think that's going to be my number one maze. Wow. I, I was so enthralled. Like, every corner I was like, there's no way they have another one. And they had another one. And then I was like, oh, they're not going to have another one. And then they had another one. So, I think A Quiet Place, for now, is going to be my top maze. And then I'll do Ghostbusters. I really like that one. The movie, I, I actually enjoyed the movie. I thought it was pretty good. Um... And the maze was just as good, you know. It had all the elements. The dogs from the original Ghostbusters, the one that, um... Do they turn in from gargoyles into those, like, demon dogs? Um, and then the Garaka stilt walkers, they were so good. Uh, after Ghostbusters, for three, is gonna be The weekend, And then Eternal Bloodlines, Monstros, um... Texas Chainsaw. I love the movie, but that maze, it was really bright. They were missing a lot of the actors. Um, I think once we start coming back and getting through it more, that, that'll that change and go higher on the list. Um, and then, yeah, Dead Exposure is just... I mean, I, it's cool, whatever. Um, it just didn't didn't feel like Horror Nights. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we're missing something. But, yeah, that's my list. Oh, wait. What? Terror Trend. It was... We talked about Terror Trap already. Yeah, but you didn't list it. Mine would go before Dead Exposure, but it definitely wouldn't go higher than that. I don't count it as a maze. Oh, well then. Mm -hmm. But yeah, thanks for watching this little uh, excerpt. This little almost 10 minute excerpt that came after our outro. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we're trying to get as much AC as we can before we leave. This, yeah. So. Thanks for listening to us. Yeah. Vent. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, guys. Good night.